Hello everyone! Ang i-discuss po natin ngayon ay tungkol sa pollination and fertilization in flowering plants. First, i-define natin what is pollination. Pollination occurs when the pollen grain of one flower reaches the stigma of another flower. So, meaning to say, Nangyayari ang pollination kapag ka yung pollen grains na galing sa isang halaman ay napupunta sa isa pang halaman or sa stigma ng isang halaman. And meron tayong dalawang klase ng pollination. Ito ang self-pollination at yung cross-pollination. Differentiate natin sila. Una po, kapag sinabi nating self-pollination, it occurs when the pollen is transferred from the stamen of one flower to the pistil of the same flower. Okay? Tandaan po ninyo, self-pollination, yung pollen grains, dito, napupunta siya sa pistil ng same flower. Okay? Sa pang ulit. Kay self-pollination, Yung pollen grains, napupunta siya sa pistil pero sa isang halaman pa rin or sa isang flower pa rin. Pero kay cross-pollination, as you can see, the pollen grain is transferred from the anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower of the same kind. Kay cross-pollination, dito, dito galing yung pollen grains, then dadalhin sa pistil. Unlike kay self-pollination, na dito galing yung pollen grains, then napunta sa pistil, pero nasa isang halaman lang. Isang halaman lang ginamit. Pero kay cross-pollination, tandaan po ninyo, yung pollen grains ng isang halaman, binibit-bit sa ibang halaman. Okay? Pero dapat magkamukha sila ng halaman. Kung gumamela, gumamela lang siya. Okay? How pollen is transferred? So, paano nga ba siya? Kasi kanina pa ako sabi ng sabi na ang pollination na transfer yung pollen grains. Eh, paano? So, there are many agents of pollination. Okay? So, yung mga nagiging dahilan pala kung bakit nalilipat ang pollen grains ay dahil sa mga agents of pollination. They may carry the pollen grains on their feet. So, yung agents of pollination or yung pollination agent can be abiotic or um, biotic, no? Pag abiotic, wala silang buhay, non-living things. And then, yung biotic factor, uh, living things. Example nga ng abiotic ay ang wind and water. While example ng biotic ay bird, insect, and bat. Sila mang nagiging dahilan kung bakit napapasa yung pollen grains. Maaaring pag kumain sila, diba, may mga nasasama sa mga paa nila na uh, pollen grains or kaya pag uh, humangin, nasa lipad pa yung pollen grains, pag umulan, ganyan. So, Isama na rin natin dito yung seed dispersal. Di ba pag sinabi natin dispersed, ibig sabihin kinala. Ganyan. Eh, of course, yung seed, buto. So, ibig sabihin ng seed dispersal, yung seed ay pinaghiwahiwalay. Okay? Pinaglayo-layo. So, bakit pa nangyayari yon? Kasi para unang-una, hindi sila magkaagawa ng nutrients. Okay? So, yung sunlight, ganyan. So, pag sinabi natin seed dispersal, it refers to the process. Proseso siya by which seeds are scattered, okay, kinalat, move or transported away from the parent plant to a much wider area. So, for example, ito yung seed, once na siya ay mapunta sa another place or sa, na, sa another area, meaning to say, yung seed ay na-dispersed. Yun yung seed dispersal. And meron tayong agents of seed dispersal, meaning to say, eto yung mga nagiging dahilan kung bakit nakakalat yung buto. Pwedeng yung wind, explosion, gravity, water, human, animal, bird, insect. Okay, kasi parang kanina sa pollen grains, kung meron tayong agents of pollination, of course, meron din tayong agents of seed dispersal.
So, uh, these are the ways seeds are dispersed. Okay? Meron tayong seeds in pods, seeds dispersed by animals eating them, seeds with hook-like structure carried by animals, feather-like seeds dispersed by wind, and seeds can be carried by water. So, yun lamang po. Mga anak, sana ay natutunan ninyo kung ano yung pollination and yung dalawang klase niya, uh, which are the self-pollination and cross-pollination and also yung seed dispersal kung paano nagkakalat yung seed. So, mag-subscribe ka na kung hindi ka pa nakakasubscribe ha. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!